Hello, welcome to another Game Fruit tutorial. I'm Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to make top down controls for your player in the style of an RPG game. We're using the Asset Pack Tanks Top Down from the Marketplace. Now, the first thing we need to do is figure out the object that we want to be our player. So, in my case, that's the tank. You want to right click on the object and select Add Script. This tutorial will center around using keyboard input blocks. So from events in this script, the first block we want to grab is when player presses a key. So grab that one out. Now, uh, if you click on backspace, you can choose from a bunch of different keys. We'll start with the right arrow key. Uh, now you want to get the object moving around with the keyboard control. So left, right, up and down. We want to affect the velocity of the player, so go to physics and grab set velocity x and put that into the event block. Now set this to something like 200. You can change this if you want, but I found 200 works pretty well. Now that's all we need so far to test this out, so click play and make sure you give your script a name. I'm going to call this my top down controls. And then the game will preview and we'll be able to see if pressing the right arrow key makes a move. And it does. So there we go. That's the first part. Uh, let's go and add in the blocks for the rest uh, of the four directions. So left, up and down. So grab another when the player presses key block from events. Drag that out. Now what you can do to duplicate blocks is right click on them and select duplicate. Now the velocities for left and right are x velocities, so we can reuse that block, and left is negative 200, but up and down are going to use velocity y, so change that x to y, and up should be negative 200, and down should be positive 200. Now we can test this out and we'll see that the four directional arrow keys move us in four directions. Now let's add rotation to the character when they move in a different direction. We want to grab from the transform category, we want to grab the set rotation of myself block and drag one of those blocks under each of our velocity blocks. Set rotation, set rotation, and you can just go Control C, Control V when you have the block selected to uh, get, a, get a quick copy. Now the rotation for the different directions is based on uh, facing upwards is zero degrees, facing right is ninety degrees, facing down is one hundred eighty degrees, and facing left is two hundred seventy degrees. Now let's play that and test it out. Now you'll notice the rotation is a little wonky. The reason for this is the character is rotating around their uh, top left point. The way that we can fix this is by adjusting the anchor point. So the block that we need to adjust the anchor points to fix the offset rotation um, is under transform and we want set anchor point x of myself so grab that now we don't need to trigger this when the player presses a key we'll just trigger this as soon as the object is created so you can grab when created from events set anchor point x of myself and we also want to set the anchor point y of myself now the way to determine the exact middle of an object is by dividing its width and height by two so to grab the division block, you want to go to operators and grab the addition block, plus block, and then change that to divided by. Now we're dividing it by two to halve it, so chuck those zeros in there and change them to two. And then in here we want length, because that's for x, and y, we want height. So height of myself and width of myself are under transform. So width, here we go and change that one to height. The next thing we'll add here is stopping the movement when the key is released. 
Now, the character will just keep moving. We don't really want that. Also, it moves in a kind of weirdly diagonal way if you press another direction of key. So to fix that, we want to grab um, a bunch of duplicates of when the player presses a key. So we will have copies of these four blocks here, and we'll change presses to releases. So grab four of these. And what we're going to do is change, uh, we can get rid of the rotation blocks, so we can click on those and press delete. Now what we want to happen in here is change presses to releases, and these blocks, when the, each of those directional keys is released, they will set the X and Y velocity to zero. So we want to grab X and Y velocity for each of them. That'll reset the movement when the key is released. Now the tank will only move around while the key is being held down. As soon as the key is released, the tank stops moving. The downside to this is if you are holding down a key and then you start to hold down another key and then you release the first key, you stop all movement. So it's not exactly ideal and it feels a little weird. So what we'll do is we will go and modify the presses key blocks to pressing. So change presses to pressing. And what that will do is even while uh, even when you release another key the event will continue to be triggered while the key is being pressed so it's a bit better than before even though there is a slightly bit of pause if you want to prevent diagonal movement you'll need to go and add uh, set velocity x or y to zero depending on the direction so when you're going left and right you want to set velocity y to zero so that's one left and right and for up and down, you want to set the velocity x to zero. So grab that, and that will prevent any kind of diagonal movement from happening. Now the last thing we need to add is getting the camera to follow the player. So the player can just move off screen at the moment and the camera doesn't follow them. What we will do to fix that is we will constantly have the camera set its position to the character's position. So from events, we want to grab the constantly block. And then from looks, we want to grab pan camera and change pan to snap. Now, uh, this block is the X and this block is the Y position of the camera. We want to get rid of those two. And in here, we're going to add a modified number which will give us the position of the tank with a bit of an offset. So if we just set it to the X position of myself, the tank, and the Y position of the tank. When we play this, the tank will be stuck up in the top left corner, which won't look so good, so we will modify it by subtracting um, about half of the camera's width and height from the position of the tank. So we need uh, subtraction blocks from operators. They start out as addition blocks change that to subtraction and duplicate that one <coughs> get rid of that. we want to have x position of myself minus a number and y position of myself minus a number so that'll shunt the camera back a little bit and put the tank in the middle um, now I know that the uh, well there's a way to check how large the camera size is if you click level editor and just save this so far you go to the game properties you can see resolution here that's the camera size so we've got 768 times 512 so we want half of those two numbers so if I go to here X position that's the width we want half of that half of 768 is 384 and half of 512 is 256 so there we go now if I play this the camera will be nicely offset so that the tank is in the middle and if you don't like that positioning you can tweak those numbers a little bit but there we go now the tank can move around and the camera will follow it wherever it goes so that's how to make a top-down controller script uh, to get a game similar to an rpg style game